<laughs> well, I guess the most important thing is I got born. But <laughs> after that, um, I would think getting married was, and getting the various job, medical jobs, medical residencies, and that sort of thing. And also, my mother was very important in my early life. She was the one that forced me into applying for a scholarship at Taft. And that, after I got that, um, the other scholarships sort of fell into, into place. But they were all important. And what I could do with uh, the knowledge I had in medicine. You know, getting married means that you, you act, you're acting as two people instead of one. And uh, you not only have to uh, take your spouse's interests at, at heart and go along with them, but um, you have a lot of backup, you have a lot of encouragement. And it makes it easier if you make mistakes, if your wife doesn't jump on you for it. And she didn't. I wasn't all patient with her. I wanted her to stop smoking. And she never could do that. Yeah. But I, I was lucky. <clears throat> I think my mother really started it off. <clears throat> she made me, after my father died, and she made me go up to do a, this Taft school. She had a friend who had a son in there, <clears throat> and I didn't want to go. In fact, I suppose most of the time when things I should have done, I didn't want to do first. <clears throat> but she took me there, and she, she made a connection with one of the, the men who had to do with awarding scholarships there. My father had been a, a big fraternity man. He, he was national president of, of Delta Upsilon and it turned out that one of these men was, he was a Delta Upsilon too. So I think that <clears throat> probably was important for me getting the scholarship. And I guess from then on in, I got a, got a scholarship at Swarthmore, but that was through somebody else, who, uh, uh, Edith Scott of the Scott Paper Company. She was a virtual relative. I, she was Aunt Edith, and I was just sort of a son to her. And so I got a scholarship there. And then the one, the one I got from Harvard, I guess I got on my own. But it, that didn't. That was just for the first year. But they are all very important from the standpoint we, could, we couldn't afford it, the, the tuition of these type places. And so I ended up, well I guess uh, Aunt Edith had something to do with me getting the internship at Pennsylvania Hospital. Then on in I suppose I went on my record. I loved hospital work, and I had a lot of it. I, I spent two years as an intern and two years of, as chief resident at Pennsylvania Hospital. And then I, I think a year and a half out in Pittsburgh, another hospital. And the hospital work I liked. I didn't have much of a private practice. When I got out of it, I, I didn't miss it that much. I had developed a, a, a other interests in a sense. I was very interested in my garden mm -hmm. and I was interested in, in uh, oh I forgot, I, I built a greenhouse and that was fun. That would kept me going in the winter too. I learned a lot about flowers. That greenhouse was a, a tremendous amount of fun. I had to plant it and build it it was, it was, a, it would go during the winter. We canned tomatoes like mad. In fact, uh, 
I th think there was one time and, and the, we canned all day and then the next day Mary was sick. <laughs> Just too damn much for her. But we, we had in the, in the basement oh, 70 or 80 quarts of tomato juice. We ate a fair amount from the garden, but not certainly didn't live with it. But you had nice contacts from that. Other people were interested in gardening. Well, I've been very fortunate having four of them. We, we didn't decide to have four of them. We had Medell and then Barbie came along. And I think Mary would just as soon have stopped then. But I said, we ought to have a boy. So we had Dick and then we had Dave. And they've all, I'm really proud of them all. I'm getting all the care that I can expect. But I'm not the happy warrior. If you have any choice, go fast. And I have to go to supper. Good.